Uh, this is question number 15 and we are to describe how the focal length of a concave mirror can be determined using a screen and a meter rule and you get uh, one mark. So using a, a concave mirror and, uh, and uh, yeah, that is a, a screen and a meter rule uh, so use, uh, you, what, you, what you do is you focus an object uh, on the screen you adjust the adjust the distance between the screen and the mirror uh, to obtain the, a sharp image you measure the distance between the screen and the mirror this is the focal length uh, so what you do what you do you, you, how this is how to say uh, use the mirror to foc uh Use the mirror uh, to focus a distance object onto the screen. Uh, adjust the distance, the distance. Adjust the distance between the screen and the mirror and the mirror uh, to obtain a sharp image. A sharp image so that's the second time measure the distance between the screen and the mirror uh, measure the distance between uh -huh, between the screen and the mirror and the mirror uh, so so that is the uh, between the screen and the mirror and that is the focal uh, that is the the focal length uh, so can you use a diagram here that, so this is uh, the, the, the screen so we can make a simple diagram here uh, we have that we have the principal focus so we have uh, the rays focusing to where we have the f that is where the image will be formed so this is a this is a, an object a distance from a, 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 an object at a, a, a distance away from the mirror you focus it on the on the screen so that's how you answer that part b an object is placed eight centimeter from a concave mirror whose radius of curvature is twenty is twenty centimeter. Determine the position of the image. So here we use this relationship. We use this uh, formula: one over focal length is equals to one over distance from the of the object plus the distance of the image. Uh, so we can be we can take uh, u one over v, v u to this side so we have one over v is equals to one over f uh, minus one over u uh, which you get one over v is equals to uh, since we have been told the um, the radius of curvature is 20 uh, focal length is halfway so it is one over 10 uh, you divide 20 by 2 you minus uh, one over the the, the distance of the object so, so one over eight so you can cross multiply uh, you have one over v is equals to uh, eight minus <coughs> ten divided by eighty uh, so this will give you uh, one over v is equals to uh, minus that is a uh, 
we have uh, this is a uh, two over that is a uh, two over forty two over eight which is equals to uh, one over forty that's minus so this means that v is equals to cross multiply minus 40 so uh, what this means is that uh, uh, the, the 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 image is uh, is behind this is uh, <coughs> uh, we ignore the minus sign so v is equals to 40 centimeter so that's how you work out that and you'll be able to get uh, three marks so let's go to part c of this question part c of question number 15 we are told an object of 10 centimeter is placed 30 centimeter from a converging length of length uh, of focal length 18 centimeter roman number one on the grid provided draw a layer diagram to locate the position of the image formed uh, so what we are going to do is uh, we draw the principal focus here our, our grid is not so good uh, it is somehow distorted uh, so what we do is uh, we use this uh, to be the focus uh, to be the principal uh, the, the position of the and two three four five one two three four five six we use this as a uh, position of our converging lens like that and uh, what we do here is we put uh, those uh, marks there uh, we are told the object is 30 centimeters so from here we take one one small unit to represent one also so five uh 10 uh this is 15 20 25 30 so our image object is there so we draw our object from here uh and we put the the head there the arrow are there to show that it is upright from there uh, we are told that the focal length is 18 centimeters. So you identify the 18 centimeter. So it is 1, 2, 3, those are 15. This is where we have uh, the focal length. On the other side, we have 1, 2, 3, that's 15, plus 3, that will give you 18. Now, we are going to draw the arrows. Uh, so we draw one arrow, we will we'll pass through the the principal focus so it will pass there should be somewhere there so this is uh, uh, the arrow uh, then the other one we will pass through the focal length so we have uh, the other arrow passing through the focal length uh, so we have that uh, then it passes through the focal length there uh, the, the two rays uh, converge at this point so that is where the image will be formed and uh, we can draw the the image here uh, not that position but this position so that is where we have our our image so that is it is inverted uh, so you can show a line because it is a converging lens you can show this arrow here uh, like that and you put the arrow like that so uh, not that we we'll use the same color uh, so you put like that uh, this arrow is like that uh, so that's how we get the image of uh, formed when the object is 30 centimeters. So this is the object. Uh, we can say this is the object and this is the image. Image. Uh, this is our focal point. Uh, 
so that's how you get the image if you do that you'll be able to get three marks let's see part two of the question roman number two from the diagram in part one determine the image height so if we go back to our object this is our image we have said that uh, one, one small square represent one so these are five ten fifteen so our image is about uh, image height image height is uh, up is equals to uh, 15 and we can say plus or minus one uh, we can say plus or minus one uh, the part two image distance we go back and we find uh, this is uh, the image uh, the, uh, the image distance uh, we have this is uh, that is what we call V we have 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 so it's about uh, image distance uh, is equals to 45 uh, plus or minus 1 uh, we put that error of plus or minus one so that's how you answer that question uh, and you'll be able to get uh, here you'll be able to get four and three for the uh, so if you get to that point you'll be you have scored a whole mark for this question